Raise your hand over there if you want to ask so we can get the microphone to you and keep it going. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, for, for, for Devontae and Rob, just your thoughts on what happened there down the stretch. You guys had some turnovers, some questionable shots. What do you think was, was, the, was the problem there? Uh, I'd say lack of communication down the stretch. Um, I know there was a couple things happened to happen with the ball screen coverage, but they got a couple open rolls. And then obviously, like you said, we, we turned the ball over uh, last minute, and then they got that easy bucket. So uh, really just communication at the end of the game, and um, really we just have to settle down on defense and lock up. Question over here. Guys, raise your hand beforehand so we can keep it moving. Uh, so before that last stretch, you know, what just changed in the second half defensively for you guys, especially you know, early on, you guys were able to keep them from getting much of anything after they hit a bunch of threes in the first half when you guys just tried to focus on that point? Um, they, they had a lot of shots early, so we just tried to hold them off the line. And, um, we had better views on the same page on the ball screen, so we did have better second half. Jerome, I know it's Kind of resolve. Where do you want to talk about your own good things that happened today? But do you feel like you kind of put, put some things behind you and really took a step forward today? Uh, yeah, I mean, just a lot to learn. Being a freshman, just a lot to learn. Uh, just one of them games, tough game. Devontae, how do you your senior? You've been through a whole lot. What can you, in your words, after what you've been through, what, what was this loss like to lose it that way that late? Um, a lesson, and just like every other loss, um, we were down, we came back, we fought our way back, got the lead, and then lost it, and it just goes to show that the game could turn at any point. I guess for any of you, you kept kind of pushing it to eight, they kept coming back. Was there ever a stretch where you felt like you kind of had them close to just kind of put away for good, and, and what was it that Kept getting them the answers, I guess. Um, yeah, credit to them. I feel like they hit shots when they needed to. So, um, really, really starts on defense. I feel like once we get stops on defense, it translates to offense. So, uh, I feel like we didn't need to get stops when we needed to down the stretch. And, um, that's the result we got. And, Rob, you talked about a lack of communication down the stretch. Is that your responsibility as a point guard to make sure everyone's lined up and <clears throat> where they need to be? And is that something you kind of take responsibility for? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Point guard, you really have to lead everybody by example. So um, really everybody has to be on the same page, and um, everybody has to talk. So we, we have to uh, execute our game plan. For any of you guys, obviously Jalen Smith is a really good player, but 29 points is the difference in the game. What was difficult about that matchup, and um, I, I mean, how was he able to kind of have that that kind of game against you guys? Oh uh, yeah, he's a really good player. I mean, he he's not like a traditional big where he posts up most of the time. He had a lot of Pick and pop threes, I'm not the three he hit, but he hit a lot. So we had to uh, switch our coverages up on him and um, just have different guys guard because he's such a good player. But uh, credit to him, he made big shots and he did it. Talking about Jalen Smith, obviously emotions running high at the end of that game, but the reaction to him and your fans and then kind of what you guys They never said. saw it. Okay. They were off the floor. They never saw what happened. Okay. So I'm and just letting you know. The next one then, I'm sure you guys saw other things when you got into the locker room, the reports of, of Kobe Bryant. They don't know. Has we haven't told them yet. Seriously. Can I get the reaction to it? Yeah, Kobe Bryant was killed today in a helicopter crash. <clears throat> so, that, yeah. Huge news for the basketball world. Obviously, you guys had no idea um, your immediate reaction to this as, as everyone found out while you guys were on the floor. Obviously, heartbreaking. He's one of the Arguably the uh, best player ever to play. So, I, mean, I was a fan growing up, so I mean, my heart goes out to his family, really. Uh, anything else? Go ahead. Uh, Rob, you guys, you guys go one and one, two home games against ranked teams. Do you look at it as pretty much success? Do you look at it as an opportunity slipped away to get another one? How, how do you view this week? Um, move on to the next game. Really, uh, just focus on the next game when we play Penn State. So, uh, I mean, we can't get too happy after one and can't uh, get too down ourselves after a loss. So, we just have to move forward, get back after it, um, practice tomorrow. Uh, for any of you guys, uh, 22 assists today. Uh, the ball movement isn't 
getting at kind of that optimal level that you'd like to see it at, and how do you build off that, I guess, kind of going forward? I think our ball movement has been um, better every every game. I think we get better at it um, every single game, and I think we'll just continue to build on it. All right, guys, thank you.